Number 6 on the Shadowcast. Shadowcast. If you don't want your squire a ton of wires running to and fro, the janky Shadowcast is what you'll want. Now, make no mistake, there will be some wiring involved, but far less than you might be used to. That's because the janky Shadowcast plugs directly into the streaming video source via HDMI without requiring an extra HDMI cable in the middle. So, you can plug it into a free HDMI slot on your Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch dock, or gaming, dock, or gaming PC to receive the video feed. You can even plug it into a digital camera with HDMI output. Once you've got the janky Shadowcast wired into your source device, you'll connect it using a single USB-C cable to the laptop or desktop computer you'll use as a capture device. This not only provides a tidy and compact setup for capturing game streams but also gives you an option to use a laptop's display as a monitor for your game console. That is some serious flexibility for a $50 capture card, though it's worth noting that the max output resolution from the Shadowcast is 1080p at 30fps. Number 5 on the game capture HD 60 Pro. Pro. Let's face it, 4K video requires an awful lot of bandwidth. Your budding audience would be better served with more frequent streams than you working a third job to afford faster internet and a ridiculous capture card. When you make the jump to an internal card, take a look at the game capture HD 60 from Elgato instead. As its name implies, this model will capture video at 60 frames per second and full HD. It'll also occupy half the, PC half the PCIe ports as its 4K sibling, and cost $100 less. In addition to pumping out full HD broadcasts, it'll simultaneously record said footage to your hard drive at 1080p60 in the H.264 codec at a 60 megabits per second maximum bitrate. There's also built-in support for streaming to Twitch and YouTube. Number 4 on the Media Live Gamer 4K. 4K. With the Live Gamer Veer Media, you'll have the cheapest capture card that currently allows you to capture 4K 6.0 footage in HDR. No, you can't broadcast that yet, or edit it with the included shareware, but once streaming software and services catch up, you'll be ready. Until then, you can toss the video to YouTube. Bump your capture resolution down to 1080p and you'll be able to capture at frame rates up to 240 frames per second. Whoa, second. Whoa, indeed. The Live Gamer 4K also has RBG lighting for visual customization, in case your PC case needs a few more lights. Number 3 on the Tough CU 4K 30. 0 A lot of video game counting on you to have either an open PCIe slot in your gaming PC or a classic USB-A port, but, if you're running a thin and light laptop as your streaming PC, those two connections might not be an option. But, then there's USB-C and the ASUS TUF CU4K30 to save the day. This USB-C-based capture card will let you easily wire it up with a laptop to capture your game footage, and, it can, and, it can capture some serious footage without holding you back while you're gaming. On the capturing side, it can support a 4K resolution at 30fps, or you can drop it down to 2K for a smoother 60fps stream or even 1080p for a super smooth 120fps capture. Meanwhile, the card can pass the video signal from your game system through to your monitor or TV at 4K, 60Hz with HDR, 2K, 144Hz, or 1080p, 240Hz. This is all built into a compact, aluminum chassis that includes RGB lighting, which doubles as a status indicator. Number 2 on the Lydia Live Gamer Bolt. Gamer Bolt. The Avir Media is hands down the best capture card for streaming. It delivers the lowest level of added latency we've seen out of any capture solution at only a couple of milliseconds. This makes it perfect for games that require cat like reflexes like Spelunky or Twitch aiming like Apex Legends. The Avir Media Live Gamer Bolt also records great looking footage at either 4K 6.0 HDR or 1080p 240. The only, tr the only tricky thing about this capture solution is you need a Thunderbolt 3 port, which means you can use it with only a few compatible gaming motherboards and gaming laptops. You should definitely double check your system's ports before buying this capture card. Number 1 on the GAXR 1 Lite. 1 Lite. 
The EV G8 is both compact and affordable, but that doesn't mean it's not a capable companion for any gamer getting into video capture or streaming. This device provides a 4K, 60fps pass-through perfect for use with the latest Xbox and PlayStation. And, it records all your action-packed moments at 1080p, 60fps without any compression or lag. The unit is also simple to use, with a USB Type-C and a pair of HDMI port HDMI ports that plug into your PC or console to capture gameplay, or you can connect it to a DSLR camera for a quality webcam option. Housed in a plastic chassis, the EVGA XR1 Lite is still sleek and seemingly durable. There is a convenient light indicator on the unit that changes color depending on the status of the capture card, so you'll know when it's active, idling, updating, or not working. It comes certified to use with OBS software which is an open source option for recording and live streaming. Overall, the plug and play nature, low price, and solid performance make the EVGA XR1 Lite a great capture card option.